So this is week nine of the game mechanics independent study for Unreal Engine. Um, so as you can see, I've added a static mesh um, for a shop and basically a widget pop-up menu uh, triggers when you walk up to the shop. Um, and it allows you to have access to these buttons that allow you to buy things and it'll subtract the currency from up here um, and I have listed the amount of currency that it subtracts to give you that item into your inventory. Um, I ran over some uh, random items that I had on the ground. That's why I have stuff in the inventory already. So if I get rid of a couple of these characters. So now I have 27 gold because I ran over one of these pots. Um, Okay, so 27 gold is technically enough, technically enough to buy one of these. Um, so let's go ahead and buy a stack of wood. Voila, it's added over. Can't get the key because I don't have enough money. It, does, it says it pretty much. Okay, so I'm gonna go over a little bit of the code um, for this. Obviously not all because um, it's too much code to go over in a reasonable amount of time, but I'll just go over, you know, key thing, let's say the shop. <clears throat> um, the shop is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We have an overlap begin on the collision box, and basically we have it casting to the character, so the playable character. Um, create a shop interface widget. So that's basically uh, shows a pop-up overlay onto the screen and it adds it to the viewport. So we create the widget, then we add to the viewport. We cast third person controller, meaning we allow the third person controller to have mouse cursor input over it. Um, so that's like pretty, pretty simple code, relatively speaking, and it works pretty good for this. Um, so as much as I could go over all the little code, which I could if you want me to in the future, just let me know. Um, I think it's best that I just mention what I'm thinking to do from here. Um, there's only a month and a half of the semester left, approximately. And I actually completed the 50 tutorial video for this uh, tutorial series, which... Um, the series I was following was RPG, uh, creating role-playing games for Unrange 4. It's a 50 uh, video, video course. Um, and I was actually disappointed that it didn't cover uh, certain topics in it. Um, you know, as you can see, it, it covered AI, it covered um, choosing characters and class selection screen and it covered uh, triggering animations that can uh, cause uh, subtraction of numbers that cause actors to be destroyed and pop-up widgets based upon triggered collision boxes it covered things like that it uh, covered um, image refreshing, it covered saving um, a player's level from startup every time you um, kill an enemy. Um, it covered a lot of that kind of stuff. And the AI falling is great, but the AI don't attack me or anything. Um, so I'm hoping for uh, the end product for the semester. Um, I'll have you know, a very simple game. Enemy attacks you, you can attack back, you can run away. Um, maybe there's a goal of something to get, the graphics a little prettier, that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not going to get crazy with it because, you know, I have to really spend as much time as possible on the thesis project. Um, but I am going to go over more video tutorials. I may not go through a... Uh, Another series linearly because there's just not enough time. Those 50 tutorials just to get that far. Um, <clears throat> but 
I may skip through um, and pick and choose from the series um, to add some key uh, functionality that is missing in the game that I want to you know, have as my end of semester game that I'm going to add to what I've already created. Um, for example, the horror survival game, um, it has to do with uh, your character getting tired over time and needing uh, items to stay alive and staying away from characters so you don't die. So I'll probably go through some of the horror, horror survival game and pick and choose some tutorials uh, to go through and add on to um, what I've made uh, for Unreal Engine. Um, and then I may pick some melee combat tutorials a little bit, you know, just a little bit from there. Um, the first hand shooter, I might go through a tiny bit of that, but basically um, my goal for the rest of the semester for the independent study is just to make a more functional, um, complete game because, and not necessarily limited to a particular genre of game, just something someone might enjoy playing for, you know, 10 minutes um, or something, you know, enough functionality, um, something like that. So that's pretty much where I'm at. Basically, um, the first video of that series that Curtis made didn't actually uh, give everything that it said it was going to give. It promised more than was actually given. And then he explains in the last video, it's like, yeah, well, this is just to get you started. You have to combine it with other series if you actually want full functionality for full a game. And some of the other t t uh, tutorial series are more complete. Um, anyway, so I'm going to continue with this. Um, and it should be good. So that's it for this week's update on um, the game mechanics independent study for week.